Hello and welcome to part 7 of our video lesson in computer network. Today in this video lesson we are going to talk about internet of things. What is IoT? Now internet of things or IoT is a network of physical objects or things embedded with electronics, software, sensor and network connectivity which enables object to collect and exchange data say for example your Alexa your Google these are nothing but IoT now with the help of Alexa you can talk and it will communicate now your mobile phone has Alexa Alexa or any device or device which has Alexa it has certain software and a sensor which communicate through us with a network now this allows us to exchange the data say for example you're searching for something uh, through google or google assistant we call it google assistant by just saying hey google or something or alexa you can get the information by just speaking over the phone now when you're speaking your Google Assistant which is nothing but IoT will collect the data and in return it will give you some information related to what you have searched about now this is nothing but exchange of data now a thing in the context of Internet of Things is the entity or physical object that has a unique identifier and embedded system and ability to transfer data over the network now IoT now every device has unique identifier say for example you have your unique identification your name or your birth in school you have your unique identifier your roll number no one will have the same roll number as you in a school so likewise IOT devices it is a physical object which has a unique identifier and it is an embedded system so this unique identifier is embedded into electronic device which allow us to transfer the data over the network say for example like i said through your phone you can if you have smart bulb if you have a smart bulb you can connect this smart bulb through your phone and once it is connected you can see things like switch off the light and automatically your light light will be switched off or you can see reduce the brightness of the light then it will get reduces so there are many things through which IOT works IOT works in many ways we'll see through the applications in later part of this video lesson now basically in IOT there are four components we have sensors and devices now in human being we have sensors how many sensors we have we have six like your sense to smell your feelings touch sense to see sense to hear so this is a sense of human beings likewise in electronic device we have some sensors or devices we have connectivity connectivity user interface and data processing now components of IoT now just like human beings human beings have components like your physical body your hands your legs your senses how we process how we digest the food so these are the components of human being likewise in internet of things we have components certain components these are sensors or devices data processing user interface and connectivity now let's discuss in detail what are the components of iot now basically in iot there are four components sensors or devices now it is a method of capturing information by some highly functioning hardware these are the type of hardware devices known as sensor capture or gather information from the environment and respond to it now normally in human being we also have sense like your like your tongue your tongue has a sense it allow us to give the taste of the food whether it is salty sour or sweet these iot devices has a sensor through which it will sense and capture or gather information from the environment and will respond to it 
like what will be the outcome now these sensors collect the data from the environment and transmit information just like our human being say for example since we're talking about our tongue our tongue allow us to taste the food it gives the sense whether it is sweet bitter or sour so just like that sensors like our tongue it collects the information of the food that we eat and it will send us to the brain whether it is sweet sour or salt salty same is the case with this iot it will collect the data from the environment and transmit the information for example sensors like temperature sensor measure the amount of heat in the source allowing them to detect temperature changes and convert these changes into data most of you are using phone or if you're not using phone also you you may have some use like temperature reading what will be the temperature today whether what how what is the weather forecast you may have seen weather forecast in news or in your mobile phone now how do they show you this weather forecast information so what happened there is a sensor for this for collecting the temperature now this temperature sensor it will measure the amount of heat and it will detect the amount of heat and this heat will get converted into data through iot devices it is because of this reason only we are able to see weather forecast or the temperature in your phone another example of sensor is proximity sensor available in your mobile phone now even your mobile phone has many many sensors now one of them is proximity sensor now what happens with this proximity center it detects the object and turn off your display during a call when your phone comes in contact with your ear now suppose your friend is calling and you're receiving a call normally what happens we put the phone near your head near your ear what happens when it comes in contact with your ear or near the ear because of this proximity sensor your display will turn off this because of this reason you can talk in a smooth manner without any disturbance in touching your mobile phone now if the display is not turned off what will happen because your device or your mobile phone may get interrupted by the touch of the of your ear sensor and devices plays an important role in internet of things now the another components of iot is connectivity now the sensors and devices use various ways to be connected the various methods the way how they connect and uh, collect the data now connectivity in iot is required to send the data now the connectivity in iot is normally wireless it is not wired now the sensors or devices can be connected to the cloud through a variety of methods including cellular satellite wi-fi bluetooth low power wide area network or connective or connecting directly to the internet via ethernet say for example your watch now you connect your watch through a mobile phone i'm talking when i'm talking about watch i'm talking about wearable devices which has iot device on it not a normal watch your electronic watch now in the watch there's a app where they can track your walking how much distance you have walked there's a sensor in a wearable device which measures how much you have walked or how much distance you have covered while you're walking these sensors collect the data and this data will send over the internet through your mobile phone connectivity is important to collect the data or to send the data to the desired devices now there are many devices say for through wi-fi also we can connect through bluetooth also we can connect now there are many examples through which we can connect this iot device people and process now once the data is collected to the cloud and gets to the cloud the software performs processing on a quiet data on certain data that you are dealing with now this could be very simple such as checking um, the temperature reading that is within the acceptable range or it could be a very complex such as uh, using computer vision or on video to identify objects such as intruders in your house this is nothing but a process now this process will get reflected to the people the information say for example your temperature reading say goes into the when it comes to people the information provided by the process that is the result of the process will get viewed by the end user in some way it can be achieved by triggering an alarm on your phone or notifying via text or emails say for example if intruders uh, come to your house what happened you will get an alarm message or a text message saying that some unknown person is at your home so in this way iot works so these are the four components of iot iot cloud now when i talk about iot cloud you know what is a cloud now cloud is a storage device over the network so it is a platform that is designed to store and process internet of things data so any process related to internet of things data will be stored in iot 
cloud say for example your smart bulb whatever your data say for example your password wi-fi password or everything that is related to iot smart bulb will be stored in iot cloud which will be used for processing and it will glow the bulb when you see things the platform is built to take the massive volumes of data generated by devices sensors websites applications and initiate action for real-time responses say for example your smart bulb so this iot platform is built to take massive volumes of data generated by devices now the data generated by devices what does it mean the data say for example if you're using a smart bulb smart bulb requires your uh, wife no wi-fi contains a password this password will be be generated or it will be stored in iot cloud and sensors and website certain website that we use for iot applications the application we use for smart bulb and it will initiate action for real-time responses some of the iot platforms available are aws iot google cloud microsoft azure iot cloud etc so basically these iot firms are used for data storage over the network for example wind turbines can adjust the behavior based on current weather data now based on your weather whether it is good or not whether it is rainy or not it will it can adjust the wind turbines in the picture you can see wind turbines working on iot now airline pay whose connection flight is delayed or cancelled can be booked even before the plane has before the plane have landed now say for example you're using iot cloud based vacation for your flight reservation or for your flight can cancellation so what this iot will do iot will look for the flight whether the flight that you're traveling is getting delayed or not or not if it is delayed then it will automatically get cancelled and it will get booked even before you have landed to certain place so this is a about IoT. Now let's see what are the applications of 